Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about the elephant puzzle, this puzzle here, and I think this time it's quite obvious why this one is called the elephant puzzle, right? The puzzle itself is made in an outstanding quality. It's made, let me just zoom in a bit, it's made out of sherry and acacia wood, excellently crafted, you can see it here. Everything fits together very well. There is some free play of the parts, of course, because you need to be able to disassemble and reassemble it and um, make a guess who manufactured it. You are right. I think uh, in the meanwhile, we can already see it from the puzzles. Who is the manufacturer for this one? It's Pelican Puzzles in the Czech Republic, of course. And well, what kind of puzzle is it? I, in the beginning, I thought it's some kind of a burr puzzle, but I think it's a simple disassembly, reassembly puzzle. Overall, it contains 11 parts. I bought this one at Puzzle Shop DE, a nice little store which has a fine selection of puzzles. And after you solved it, of course you can place it in a shelf because this is an absolute eye catcher, mainly because of the unique shape and also the quality of the parts. And a lot of people are probably interested to try it themselves and disassemble and reassemble. It. Regarding the difficulty, I'm not sure at this point because it's the first time I will try this puzzle. But after the spoiler break, we will have a closer look about the disassembly and reassembly process. So what do we have here? Overall, the puzzle contains 11 parts and I'm not sure where to start actually. And what, another detail which looks very nice is here, the pattern of the wood that it goes here like, it looks like mirrored. Same here on the feet of course. And these are some details that are very, very nice and well made by Pelican because otherwise if they would not be like this, but you have the same pattern, it would kind of, would look kind of weird, but here everything is perfect. So let's just have a look how these parts come apart. There's some free play between the parts, probably to make the assembly, this assembly a little bit easier. I can only rotate the ears. Ah, okay, I need to put them here flat like so. And if I do so, I can remove here the first part. So it's definitely not a burr puzzle. I will put the parts right here. And the next one, ah, the next one already the legs. So the rear legs. Front legs. For some reason, it's very satisfying the back, the ears, I hope I will get it back together, <laughs> the belly, the, I don't know, I, I missed the word, the, the thing between the belly and the, the back, <laughs> and the two tooth. That's all parts, so as you have seen, it's quite easy. And now let's get the parts back together. I think this is probably a bigger challenge or not a super difficult one, but more interesting if you disassemble it or give it to someone in disassembled condition and tell them to build the elephant out of all the parts because then they know, don't know the correct sequence. This makes it probably a little bit more difficult. So, Oh, this was these were not the tooth these <laughs> this was the nose <laughs> okay uh, let's see this was over here the ears can be rotated and then I think it was the legs from legs. Ah, and the back. 
the back in first. I can tell you this is so satisfying to do. This feeling when the when the parts snap together, you know, this is just nice. Oh, okay, this one belongs here. This one belongs here. Here. And we put it here. So as you have seen, a very simple puzzle. I think let's let's give it a two out of a maximum of five, not a one. It's easy, I know, but I think if you give it to someone in disassembled condition, they take some minutes to assemble it and they will have a very, very satisfying experience, same as I had here. By doing so, I mean, if you look at the single pieces, they are made perfectly, very, very well made, and they fit together also very good. There's a little bit free play, of course, but this is necessary. This is not a manufacturing issue here. And overall, it's a very, very nice puzzle that is an absolute eye catcher. And it must not only be the most difficult puzzle that are interesting, it can be also puzzles like this, which are rather simple but very very well made so i like this puzzle a lot i have today no link that i can put for you in the video description if you find a link just let me know in the comments and i will put it in so that's it for today i hope you liked this episode even if it was not the most difficult puzzle i think but anyway i hope i could transfer some of the excitement and of the satisfaction this puzzle provides you also through this video that you could kind of feeling the same let me know in the comments if it worked or not if you like this puzzle and of course you can also join my facebook and instagram channel if you would like to learn more about puzzling until next time keep on puzzling